Hi, this is John with Light of the Scripture, uh, protecting you against the evil mindset of this world with the Word of God, with the Bible. Today we're going to look at Matthew chapter 6, verses 3 and 4. It says, But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will, will reward you. Um, did you know that uh, God rewards his children whenever they do good things? And they, they, if they help the poor, then he rewards them for that. But that's not the reason that we need to be giving uh, if we're Christian. Uh, it should be natural for a Christian to, to give and to love to give. And uh, what happens is uh, we don't gain our salvation by our gifts. Uh, some people feel that they do, but they're wrong. That's not what the Bible says. Uh, some people feel that if the good things that we do in life outweighs the bad things that we do in life, then uh, God is going to find us acceptable. But he doesn't find us acceptable that way at all. He finds us acceptable by, because we have received Jesus Christ, who is without sin, who is totally acceptable, and uh, that uh, is the only thing that only purity that he can accept. So, uh, for us to be found uh, okay with God, uh, we do need to uh, uh, repent of our sin, turn away from our sin, and then to believe on Jesus Christ and receive Him as our Savior and Lord. Allow Him to come into our life, into our heart. And then uh, uh, let him be the Lord or the the master of uh, what we do. And then we are found acceptable in the eyes of, of the Lord. All of our sins are forgiven because he paid the price on the cross. But um, here, whenever we receive Jesus Christ, uh, of course, uh, Jesus Christ was 100% God uh, while he was walking here on the earth. And uh, he still is. And when we receive him, we receive love itself. Uh, the being of, uh, of God in, in the form of Jesus Christ is love. We start to having love living within our heart and within our, our mind. And uh, a lot of times, you know, we've uh, lived a life full of hate, full of resentment, full of bitterness. But when we receive Jesus Christ, uh, and we truly make him the Lord of our life, then uh, we uh, begin to love more uh, than we could have otherwise. And that is actually the main attribute that Christians are known by. They are people who love others. So uh, uh, when you're meeting the needs of uh, people who are in need, and you're a Christian, then you are rewarded for that, if you do it properly, you say, well, how can you do this properly in the eyes of God? Well, he doesn't want us to brag about it. He doesn't want us to bring attention to ourself because that is an act of pride and uh, God hates the proud. And uh, But he wants us to, if we do good things, do those things in secret. Now, the world, uh, that's one reason the world a lot of times hates Christians because they don't know of all the good that we Christians do. And Christians are doing good things all the time, but we don't publicize them. So they uh, sometimes think that uh, we're evil. And uh, But uh, he wants to, us to do these things in secret. Uh, that way uh, we can, uh, he, he can reward us for those good things because we don't do those good things uh, to bring attention to ourself. We do those good things in, other that, in order that others uh, may enjoy the blessings of God and uh, may uh, uh, have a good witness to them uh, that uh, here this uh, Christian individual is doing good things but not bragging about it. And uh, I hope that uh, you are a born-again Christian and I hope that you're doing good things to help people that are in need. You know, there's lots of ways we can help people that are in need. Some people are just in need of attention. Some people just need a good friend. And sometimes uh, people need uh, material possessions. And uh, one thing that uh, bothers me sometimes is the fact that um, 
uh, people from overseas will be contacting our ministry, uh, you know, telling us about their physical needs and be hoping that we can send them uh, something to help them out. And most of the time we can't do that because we're poor ourselves. We live in the poorest, one of the 10 poorest counties in the United States. And we're a very small church and I'm uh, retired myself. I don't have a job. So, uh, but one thing we can do, we can pray for you. We can be very rich in prayer and God can provide everything that you need much better than we could. And, uh, but uh, if you're doing good things, uh, don't be bragging about it. Uh, the Pharisees, they would uh, uh, have people that followed them around in the streets blowing trumpets whenever they gave somebody, uh, uh, you know, a few pennies or, you know, just uh, bought them a little something to eat. And uh, we don't want to do anything like that. Uh, we want to do it in secret. And yeah, that, that makes God happy because we're not doing it to make ourselves bigger. Uh, but we're doing it uh, because we know that person has that need. And uh, the biggest need that they will have is to have God in their life. But uh, we can sometimes help out in those immediate needs that are, uh, are happening to the people that's around us. This is John with the light of the scripture encouraging you to get deep into the word of God and let the word of God get deep into you.